And tonight was the biggest eggnog of the event of the year, or maybe even the century. Now, this all took place in downtown Fayetteville, bringing hundreds of eggnog connoisseurs to Maxine's Tap Room for the ninth annual Nog Off. But this year, it is looking to give back. She loved the U of A. She loved students at the U of A. She loved U of A sports and Greek life, and we're honoring her legacy through the fun. U of A professor Lisa Corrigan talking about Maxine's original owner, Maxine Miller. It's actually the first time that the Nog Off is going to benefit the Maxine Miller Legacy Fund, which is the new um, legacy fund established through the University of Arkansas. Maxine's great niece Andrea Foran says they're attempting to raise 50 k for the fund, which would support student research, conference travel, and more. Decided that the Nog Off would be a great first fundraiser to kick off the fund, and I think they were right, clearly. It's a packed house. Charging 15 bucks for an array of eight eggnog flavors. We don't need an excuse to come drink, but if we're doing it and we're helping out a good cause, obviously that's what it's all about, man. It's just a bunch of good people having a good time, drinking good stuff. Jake Gardner's been at the Nog Off for the past four years. And I'm out here because I love eggnog. Sharing their love for eggnog to raise money and give back to the community. Now again, they are trying to raise $50,000 and they say they can't give that money away until they reach that amount. So if you would like to donate, visit onlinegiving.uark.edu and type in the Maxine's Legacy Fund.